Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Xenosaga. And I'm fighting more trolls. Because it's a smart idea. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna rescue more people. I do eventually find some. <laughs> Yes, eventually is a common theme in this game. At least I skipped Cosmos' X Buster animation. I was about to say, it also seems like uh, them trying to focus on the fact that Cosmos is a woman repeatedly. It seems to be a reoccurring theme. Oh, you mean like the belly shot? <laughs> And I'm actually getting some levels, that's good. Levels is good. You're not getting money though. Are you getting stuff to sell for money? Maybe? From the kobolds I am. And this guy says, No, I will not go without my wife or lover, whichever. But there she is. So that's two people rescued. And now I talk to this bug. And now I'm stupid. Yeah, he says he wants to go to the dock colony. And since I don't see any way to take him back to the dock colony, I do the logical thing and blow him up. What? I don't know, but after I did this session, I looked at a guy that said don't blow up the bug. <laughs> so I was kind of down there. Yeah. Just a bit. <laughs> oh well, this is not a 100% walkthrough. This is like certain things I'm doing 100%. Like I'm getting all the segment addresses and getting like, I'm doing all the big side stuff. Guide. Yes, and I haven't been looking at a super special guide for. Guide on game FAQs. It is longer than the actual walkthrough. Telling you um, all. Like, it doesn't. Like, it's meant to be used alongside the main walkthrough. And then <laughs> it's just like, this is where this is, this is, this is. Yeah, I don't like it when games have a whole lot of stuff that can be, like, missed permanently. <laughs> I believe the, the TV trope's name for that is Guy Dang It, or something like that. Actually, I think it was called Lost Forever. Well, there's also the unwinnable thing where it has a picture of Mario, like, being trapped by Goombas. <laughs> and I'm... I think I'm checking twice in places where I've already checked. Oh, these enemies are tough. Yeah, these are worms. And not the kind that live in the earth. They don't look very not the ones from Dune. Oh, they're not. And why am I using PK Star Smack? Well, that actually did a fair amount of damage. Oh, yeah, I guess I was seeing which kind of attacks hurt more physical or ether. <laughs> that is so, hilarious. The wonder of post commentary. <laughs> or as my friend calls it, my friend who's been on a couple of the uh, videos, Ryan, um, he's like he calls it like director's cut com director's commentary. <laughs> But th these guys actually can can mess you up if you're not careful. And why do they all have clouds over their heads? What did the things do? I wasn't watching. 
Oh, slow. Okay, they're slow. That's why they have the clouds over their heads. Okay, I guess I handled them pretty easily. Maybe I realized in the middle of the battle that they were tougher than I thought and started, like, you know, opening the can of whoop ass. It's like, hmm, I should actually try. <laughs> What? When an enemy uses like a super buff that increases um, all three, all of their attack stats at once, and then unleashes all of your combos on you for one damage apiece. Huh? I am currently multitasking with um, uh, Sands of Destruction, and the enemies I'm battling used a. Uh, Buff that increases their three um, battle stats, and they are doing one damage per hit. <laughs> <laughs> useless buff is useless. Yeah. And I'm deciding which. It makes me much more likely to um, miss them when I'm attacking. And I still don't know what to do with Moa's ether points because she like has no more ether to learn. Until I get stuff to Cosmos so that she can become your healing person. Yeah, I should do that. Yeah. You know, like you're really kill everybody. And by yes, I should do that. You mean in the next session. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. I'll do that right now all the way and we're just supposed to Like I said, I would be doing live commentary, but I don't think that software I have would like work with that. I would have to go back to Crapo Vision. Well, let's go get a DeLorean. <laughs> make yeah, for some reason these bugbears are like in front and back instead of side and side. And this is where I learned that X Buster only hits one row. Oh yeah, the, by the graphic you'd think it would. But it doesn't. Casino Saga doesn't know how to relate appearance to actual effect. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, this game is that old. And Junior now. Oh, wow. Momo has a crap ton of tech points. I think I may actually it is do. Only 2000. It is old. No, let me, let me see. It says. What, what, what's the copyright? Copyrighted 2001. Yeah, so you were pretty close. Yeah, okay, now now I'm... If you're watching Nintendo Capri Suns LP, they're burping. <laughs> now, this is where I actually realize that my characters have a crap ton of tech points and I have nothing to do with them, so I'm just increasing their stats. Well, that's a good thing to do with it? Yes. I mean, nothing to do. Over, you can never overkill something that badly. Overkill that's. Is a good thing. Yes, I know. I mean, nothing to Especially do with. In terms of like tech, like in terms of tech attacks, I had nothing to do with them. Yeah. I have in this game, 
My character special is he jumps into the sky and launches a miniature sun from the end of his sword. Ah, <laughs> that does sound like overkill. Wouldn't that kill, like, everyone on the battlefield? That makes no sense. An asteroid is not bigger than a sun. Must be very it's miniature. I, I call it a sun partially because it is the power of the crimson sun, and so that's why I call it. it looks and it looks like a sun when he throws it off of his sword. It's probably just a massive fireball. What game are we talking about again? I'm back to talking about Sands of Destruction. Ah, uh, okay. One is in Sands of Destruction. The meteor is in um, Golden Sun too. Okay. Yeah, The lead characters from the first and second game can equip. And I made another cut here for whatever reason. Probably so that I could fit this in eight episodes instead of nine. <laughs> uh, this made zero. Be weird. Who's weird? Yeah, there is weird stuff on there. There's also cool stuff. Wow, I'm suddenly feeling really sleepy. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Well, that's why I have you guys along, to make it less boring. <laughs> yes, but the problem is, we're still getting boring. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll cut more next time, a lot more. I do rescue a couple more people, so I do show a couple of important things. Of course, under the rule of, like, guns only do as much damage as other weapons do. <laughs> Wait, the person with the pistols has to run up to the enemy? <laughs> yes, she does. It yeah. makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Because remember that bullet's not going to travel there by itself. The person has to do the work. <laughs> I mean, it's, but it's not like as if they put gunpowder in those, bu in those uh, guns anyway. So it's a <laughs> bullet that has about a five foot range. range. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> And I go and look in the same window that I looked in before, wondering how to get there and whether that bugbear is actually like. Somebody? Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. And I still don't know how to get there, and I'm like trying to go through the windows and stuff. You are 
are so extra failed when I'm not there telling you what to do. <laughs> God damn it, so kind of stupid. I played through it several years ago. But you still played through it. You think I'm gonna remember the specifics? Yes. <laughs> How else do you expect to beat uh, your next LP? Alright, we'll we'll continue this discussion next episode. <laughs>